Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Penny G YouTube channel and today I'm giving my tip, my prediction for that 2020 State of Origin decider. Queensland won game one in a pretty, you know, scrappy affair, not gonna lie, it was pretty dodgy considering what could have been, but who cares? Because you know what? It doesn't, doesn't matter. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's a decider. The first two games mean absolutely nothing now, and both teams have picked their, well, both coaches have picked their teams. Bennett versus Flip are the one apiece. Who's gonna get the edge? Who's gonna take out the 2020 Origin Series? New South Wales could win three in a row. They never win deciders at Suncorp, but hey, if there's any a time when New South Wales are a favorite for a decider at Suncorp, it's this year. Queensland, just compared to New South Wales team, because they've dealt with so many injuries, so many players aren't playing, just that Queensland. When you look at talent, besides a couple of positions like halfback and 5 8 and, um, you know, second row in, as Kafusi, basically New South Wales have the advantage in every position. And Gagai, Gagai's there, but Queensland, this is their game one, game three team. Bennett's made a few changes. You got Holmes, the fullback, Coates, Kurtwell, Gagai, Allen, Munster, Chezza. Welsh, friend Papali, Kafusi, Sua, and Fasumel. I can't say it, Tino. I'm sorry, big man. I can't say it. Then on the bench, you've got Harry Grant making his debut, Lindsay Collins, Jai Arrow, and Dynamis Louie. To be honest, I thought Harry Grant should be starting at nine just because I thought Jake Friend, you know, he had a bit of a stinky game too. Jake Friend, he's a very reliable player, but I mean, he gets Nathan Brown. That was so good. But New South Wales have made an un changed lineup. So you got Teddy, Tupo, Gutho, Whiten, The Fox, Walker, Cleary, Saifidi, Cook, Haas, Crichton, Frizza, Jakey Turbo, Fanuk and Paulo Brown, Yo, with Ryan Pappenhausen allegedly going to come on for his debut. But we don't need to talk about the lineups, even though I just spent a minute going over them for you bloody legends. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time to give my prediction for game three. And look, I'd love to sit here and say, oh, I've got inside knowledge, blah, 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 Queensland, blah, 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 blah. I'm following the trend. I did my first two predictions. I got one wrong. I got the second one right. But I think New South Wales are going to win game three and win three series in a row. I said a game two. and I think I even said a game one. I think what Origin is going to come down to is everyone's going to give it their all. New South Wales didn't in game one. But, you know, when both teams are going to give it their absolute best, just on paper, you got to say that New South Wales are going to win, and it's just a shame, really, because we haven't got they haven't got Ponga, they haven't got Harry Grant, you know. Oh, well, they do actually, but he's on the bench for some reason. Why isn't Dylan Napa playing? Queensland, oh, you know what? It worked game one, but New South Wales, I'm sorry, were really bad game one. And you know, besides Cherry Evans, who is the goat, and Cameron Munster over Cody Walker, and Gagai has been screwing Whiten, to be fair. Besides those three positions, maybe, and Kafusi, they don't have the advantage anywhere. Maybe Vipali, but even Payne Haas is an absolute freak. So it's just a shame, really, that this is just the circumstances that we've been dealt with. You know, Queensland have got so many injuries. Like, even their backline, there was so many question marks over it before Origin. But now, with all these injuries to Felt, it's just a shame, really. And now Brimson's gone. So, it's going to be a tough ass for Queensland. But for New South Wales, you know, just get Teddy firing. Get that Cookie-Tedesco combination going. I said it. I said, if they can get on the, they get their forward pack going, New South Wales, if they can dominate the middle, it allows Cookie to get out of dummy half and to link up with Teddy or Cody Walker, which we saw a lot of. And, you know, Queensland, especially their left-headed defense, did had an awful... Awful game too, you know, but Nathan Cleary, if he can replicate that performance, and Tedesco, people have been saying that a down origin series, bro, had like two try assists, two line breaks, he might, you know, he's, he's the best player in the world besides Daly Cherry Evans, but he's on a different level, we don't compare him to him, don't compare Tedesco to Cherry Evans, and Cherry Evans can't carry this team, people gave him so much shit for game two, bro, he set up both their tries, he was their best player hands down, but... And, you know, he lost, he lost his 5 at the start. And, you know, I'm, Ben Hunt gets so much shit because of what he did. But, guys, come on. You know, 
Just leave him alone. It's been a bloody hunt. But yeah, I think New South Wales will probably take game three. No, they will take game three. I'm not I'm not on the fence. I know it'll happen. But guys, thanks for watching. This has been a quick video. Just want to give my prediction. There's no real thought into it, really. Just New South Wales have the better players, and if both teams can play to their best, that's who's going to win. And, you know, Papali, besides Papali, I guess they got Welch back, but if New South Wales dominate the middle, it's lights out. Like, that's all New South Wales have to do. That Cook can link up with Cleary, even Cleary. I didn't I said Walker and Tedesco, but even Cleary can hook up with. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll do a review on Thursday or Wednesday night. If the NRL will actually let me use their highlights, I don't know why they keep blocking it. It's basically free promotion. NBA and that don't block it. But hey, if it's, it probably isn't up to them. It's probably up to Channel 9 and stuff. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys next, next time. I've got so many new videos coming out with footy, coming, with footy finishing. Gonna have to go outside of rugby league a little bit. So make sure you guys actually watch that stuff. So make sure you guys do subscribe and hit that like button. Chipper Chase! Please work. Yes, Kane Cast! You bloody legend, mate! The Chip and Chase! Kane Cast looking like 2009 Jared Hayne. What a little legend.